heavy energy coming through with this card. Um, but this is your first card. So you have love your body and it is the number 21. Um, with this card, um, I would definitely have to say, what is the story that either you are consciously or unconsciously telling yourself about yourself lately? Have you been very overcritical of your body? Have you been having feelings of self-rejection or anger or guilt or frustration of the way that you look? Um, all of these things, either consciously or unconscious about your body, um, is going to start blocking your energy. And when we block our energy, it's going to build up and build up and build up um, until it becomes a physical ailment, until we have weakened our physical body and our, our energy cannot flow through our body the way it's supposed to anymore. So I would definitely say tune in, tap in, get very connected with your body at this time. Um, all right. Some things that are being drawn out here, um, definitely the number 21 is being kind of pulled out. Um, but your intuition is kind of asking you to step forward at this time, um, in ancient pictures, paintings, all that, everything, uh, even Jesus had the halo around him, just, um, signifying how, um, just signifying, uh, divine energies. Um, but I'm definitely saying here or seeing here is connecting and tuning in with your higher self, with that divine energy. Also, that divine feminine energy is actually coming through very strong for you at this time. Um, but I would say tune in, tap in, create a more loving um, and harmonious environment in order for your cells, um, all the cells in your body. Give them a good environment to start thriving. That way your energy can thrive. That way we can remove those blocks have the energy flowing through our bodies um, in a perfect, harmonious manner. That way we are not creating um, difficulties in our body on the physical level. Um, okay, so healthy boundaries. I'm definitely hearing it's time to create healthy boundaries. Um, that way you can really begin to understand yourself, understand your energy, understand your purpose, why you came here, why you came to this earth. Um, and then when you are able to connect on that level, you'll be able to connect your soul, your higher self, um, the, and really become one with that divine energy. Looking more into this picture, I'm just, I'm just hearing, um, when you take the time to nourish your soul, when you take the time to nourish your body, um, your energy will vi vibrate at a higher um, frequency. So you can't get to that higher frequency until you until you get your thoughts and your emotions all kind of in alignment with that frequency. Um, but when you finally get there, when you do the work and you finally get your thoughts and your emotions and, and everything just on that same uh, vibration, then that energy will flow perfectly throughout your body. The energy will be able to flow in and out and uh, be very harmonious. I keep hearing the word harmonious. Um, so maybe you haven't had a lot of harmony, um, a lot of harmony in your life um, the past couple of months. 